So what type of people, I mean, their backgrounds or professions, et cetera, make up the board there in South Carolina from your experience? And should people seek to serve? What advice would you give to a person listening who is considering that? This is a great question. I would have never dreamed I'd be on the State Board of Education. There, there really are no qualifications for individuals to serve. It is the choice of either the governor or the legislative delegations in, their, in your respective uh, area. If I wanted to be on the State Board of Education and pursue this, which we desperately need really good minds that understand their state, understand the needs of their schools, Mm -hmm. and want to improve them and be an asset is to really get to know your, your legislators. I've been involved in our Republican Party for a long, long time and know all of my delegation. And um, I call them when I have needs and they call me when they have questions. And, and it's a great relationship. When I see things in state government that I'm very concerned about, I'll shoot an email to them as well. It's very important that people get involved with a, a party, uh, get to know their legislators, get to know their governor. These folks really depend on, these, these lawmakers really depend on folks in the community that are really in the know. Mm -hmm. the, my board, uh, various backgrounds to my board, business people, uh, folks who have been on a local state, uh, local board, school board, um, myself, who had been on the juvenile parole board, and of course we do school in, 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 uh, in juvenile prison and, um, and starting a school. And so there, there, there's really not a qualification in terms of, you know, do you have to be a college grad? Do you have to be a PhD or whatever? Mm -hmm. It really is pretty common sense stuff. One other thing that I think is very important, if someone wants to be on the board, now with, with the computer age that we have, I would recommend that you go to your state board meeting via computer. They're all on the web. Take a look at some of those um, meetings and see how they flow. It's important that people understand Robert's Rules of Order, which is, mm -hmm. which is the standard for all public meetings. So you can get that book or you can just observe. One thing that's important, Melvin, is these boards are policy boards. They're not operational boards. When you go to the local school boards and you and you look at their you, you observe their meetings, there they the board really wants to get into the operational shop of the superintendent. You can't hold a superintendent accountable if you're trying to get in their business. Policy will, drives the operations of any organization. So if you can learn how to enact policy, which is what boards do, it will help drive the proper operational result that you want. And so just to look at, I would definitely recommend tuning in to some of your local school boards or even going. Uh, it, it, it'll be surprising, entertaining, and hopefully enlightening. And then, um, and then look at the school board and, and talk with your lawmakers. When boards wrote, the school board is pretty tightly managed. And when there's an opening, you serve one term and then you must, you must leave the board. When there's an opening and you're interested, let your lawmaker know. They're looking for people. And if you're interested, they'll be interested in you. Yeah, that's great. 